The innovation economy in Massachusetts today is pretty exciting. We have a, a mission and an attitude where innovation is central. We are number one in the nation in entrepreneurial activity, according to the uh, Kaufman Foundation. We have become, I think it is fair to say, the international destination for the life sciences and biotech. We attract more venture capita per person uh, in biotech than any other place in the world. Um, that sector is vibrant and fresh and trying new things. Clean and alternative energy as, a, as an economic sector has come on strong. And I think more and more what's happening with our economy, what's happening in the traffic of ideas, the fact that the global economy is in the midst of a knowledge explosion. And this whole notion of lifting up and celebrating the trying of new things are all opportunities for Massachusetts. When you are a startup, either uh, uh, in the private sector or as a, uh, in a, as a new company or a new program, that's a natural space for trying new things because you have to kind of invent it. Um, but it's just as imperative today, I think, for institutions to try new things. Um, whether they be um, big, big companies, well-established companies, or, or government for that matter. You get to a point in a job like this, as I am now, where you ask yourself um, whether anything you've accomplished will last. And what I hope will last uh, is an understanding that um, growth is a choice. It doesn't just happen, it's a choice. And uh, that choosing to invest public money in education, in innovation, and in infrastructure is a proven strategy for leveraging private investment and the growth that comes from it. And that if we do that with an eye not just to the next, you know, news cycle or election cycle, but to the next generation, we will have done something that's worthy to last. Governor Andrew, I learned from his great, great nephew who wrote me right after I was elected the first time, um, was elected right before the Civil War, and he accepted an invitation to come to Thanksgiving lunch from a, a black merchant family on Beacon Hill, and there were a number in those days. And to the shock and amazement of Boston society, he accepted the invitation and went down to lunch. And over lunch, his host said, you know, with the coming war, you really ought to think about recruiting freed blacks into the army. And Governor Andrew thought that was a good idea. He came back to this office. He wrote his friend Abraham Lincoln. And that's where the 54th and 55th Glory Regiments came from. Talk about innovation. <laughs>